In this no-code tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can make a voice-powered AI just like this one in Bubble.io. I'm an assistant that you can talk to like a person. So, how's your day going? Yeah, my day's going very well. Uh, can you ask me a question about my schedule? Sure thing. What do you need help with in your schedule? Are you trying to plan something fun? Or are you just swamp? Let's build that in Bubble. But before we get started, if you're watching this video, it's because you have an idea and you're trying to build it with no code in Bubble. Well, if that's you, and I think it is, click the link down in the description and head over to our website, planetnocode.com, because we've got hundreds of resources for people just like you. First thing we're gonna do is set up a Vapi account. You can do that for free. And we get a assistant builder. So let's build an assistant here. Let's call it planet no code demo. Uh, and then I'm actually gonna start with a blank template and say create assistant. Because what Vapi does is combine several AI features. Uh, there's um, the AI model, so that's what's generating your text. Then there's what's transcribing, what you or your users say. Then there's what's generating the voice to read back the reply from the AI and you can do functions and there's analysis. There's so much you can do with Vapi. I've been following them now since the start of the year. Uh, seriously exciting what happens when you bring together all of these latest AI technologies. Uh, so let's just write a really simple system prompt here saying uh, you are a helpful assistant but you speak like a pirate. Okay, we can then literally pick from all of the most popular AI LLM models uh, available, um, but we're just gonna use 3.5 Turbo. Now, what you have to be aware of is the cost here. So you've got your standard uh, VAPI cost, that's their platform fee, and then they say that they pass on the cost of the other providers that you use at cost value. Um, but do just be aware of how that adds up. So we've got the cost of GPT-4 Turbo, and then we've got the uh, text-to-speech. Uh, so let's go ahead here, we'll use Deepgram, uh, voice, yeah, we'll just use this one here, uh, and uh, you just you can do so so much uh, with Vappy. Um, so let's go back to the model and just say that the first message will be uh, "Hello, how are you?" And then we can hit publish, and we can test that out right away uh, in Vappy. So I'm going to click talk to assistant. Hello, how are you? Yes, I'm very good, thank you. Can you tell me a bit about your role? Er, me role be helping ye with any questions or tasks ye be having. Just let me know how I can be assisting ye, matey. Okay, so there we go. That's a dead simple example. But just imagine uh, if you've spent the last few years prompt engineering like I have, what you could insert into the system prompt to go beyond a helpful assistant that speaks like a pirate. You know, basically, the possibilities are endless. So how do we add this into Bubble? Well, let's head over to our Bubble editor. And I've just got a blank page here. And to do this, I'm gonna install a plugin. And this plugin has literally only been out a week. Um, here we go. Uh, Vappy Speech AI um, by uh, Martech Studios. And I've, in fact, I've already got it installed because I've been playing with it the last few days. Uh, so we then go back into our editor and we search for Vappy. And we drag the element onto the page. And this is really common for uh, working with plugins that add features into a page. Yeah, we're actually asking it to do quite a, a complex thing. We aren't just exchanging text between two servers, we're exchanging audio between a bubble server and the Vapi server. And so by adding the Vapi element to the page, we're loading in all of the scripts that the plugin developer has written in order uh, for that to work. Um, I'm just gonna increase this to say four, 400. Uh, and I'm gonna say uh, visualization, uh, let's just go Vappy default. And then I go back into my Vappy account and I copy the assistant ID. Okay, and paste that in. So there's one final step, uh, which would be you need to add your API keys into the Vappy plugin area. That's all fairly self-explanatory. I'm not gonna show you that because API keys should be regarded like passwords, but you need that to authenticate the service. So you'll need to go into plugins uh, and then uh, across to the Vappy plugin and you'll need to insert the API keys that you find in your Vappy account. But I think we're about ready to test it. So I'm gonna click preview. Well, actually we're not ready to test it because uh, 
we've, we've, got no, we've not got any buttons. So let's drag a button on. And I'll simply say uh, start call. And we add in a workflow. And now because we've got that element on the page, if I search for VAPI, uh, we can use uh, workflow actions that are presented by that element. So we'll say initialize call. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the plug it, the, the button. And I'll say ends call. And then we'll say VAPI and cool. So remember, it is the configuration that I have in my VAPI dashboard that is dictating what this call is going to be like. So let's click start to cool. Ahoy. What do you need and help with today, matey? Uh, I'd like you to compose a short haiku. I I'll give it a try. Golden sun sets low, ocean waves crash on the shore, peaceful night arrives. There we go. Ends cool. Okay, so that is how you can create a voice assistant, voice activated AI in your bubble app using the amazingly powerful VAPI AI and the immensely helpful plugin 